Well, today's been uh, quite an interesting day, winter time out on the desert, and uh, I've had a little sun off and on, I've had rain today, and I've had snow today. It's a beautiful spot out here, I love it. I can't get enough of camping out here in the desert. What I want to do is, uh, I like to be able to show you, um, I'm just kind of going off of questions that people ask. I want to talk about some of the cordage options that you get, that you have a, a choice of when you buy a poncho from us. All right, so one of the cordage options you get is a 20-foot <clears throat> hank of parachute cord. And that's the standard, that's the default. If you don't, if you don't choose anything or whatever, that's what you get, two of those, okay? Then the next, so this is in the order they appear in the drop down. So 550, that's just included. The other thing here is you get a Dyneema from Samson Rope. You get a Dyneema uh, cord with an eye in one end. So it appears in the drop down, Dyneema with eye, okay? So you got 10 feet, feet long with an eye in one end, which allows you to make a gathered in hammock, which I'll show you that. And then the, then the third option is, and I'll show you when I get a poncho out. The third option is you get a built in, we call it a quick connect, which is a Dyneema cord, the same width as your poncho with an eye in each end and there's a set of little snaps that holds that thing in place uh, inside the, the sleeve, the, the hem of your poncho. So that's that choice. And there's actually a fourth option which gives you that item, the quick connect, plus it gives you the, uh, we used to call it Dyneema, but some of the branding has changed or whatever. Basically like a Dyneema daisy chain webbing. It's a woven webbing, not sewn. So it's really thin, really strong. And there's a, a, a loop every three inches, which that gives you all the adjustment you could possibly need. Plus, since it's webbing, it gives you a little more tree protection. So that's the four options in the drop down, the cordage option when you... Uh, go to order a poncho from us. So let me show you how we do these. Let me show you a little about each of those. Okay, starting off, I'm gonna show you this right here, I tagged this. This is the second poncho that we ever made, uh, ever. I mean, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> and uh, it's made out of uh, digital ACU, digital, digital, universal digital camo. And uh, back in the day, this was made out of blackout coating on it, which that's not available anymore. But anyway, but anyway, so this poncho didn't have any of the other cordage options. Um, so that's why I'm, I've put I've put some kind of thing in all the newer in all the ponchos we've made in the last couple years that I have for myself for demo purposes. So I'll just show I'll just show you here how we how we get the parachute cord through the the hem. On the front and back of the poncho there's this hem right here. So that's an open sleeve that you can drop your cordage through. So I like to like we did the parachute cord. That's all we did for like I think the first six years or Seven years, I don't know, quite a while. That's all we had was parachute cord that we ran through there. And after that, I started messing around with other stuff. So this is how we did it. We like to let gravity do the work. So just a pocket knife, something like this, whatever, just to give weight so it pulls the cord through using gravity. Now, I also, I also commonly commonly do it with a little just a little uh, tiny knife like this and I either put a little bit bigger ring on it or this is a piece of Dyneema uh, twine or whatever that I put on there just to give me a bigger loop 
So either, either way, no problem. The idea is you want gravity to pull it through there. So you take your, so you take your, um, your parachute cord and you just start pulling it out. Now I like, when I do this, I hold this one end in my fingers. I don't let go of it. I just keep pulling it out. There's a reason for this. <laughs> the reason for what I'm doing. Okay. And you get to the end. So now I have two ends. I have two ends right here, okay? So I'll hold those two ends. And now I'm going to pull. Because what I want to find is the middle. So there's the middle right there. There's a loop. That's the middle, okay? So now, what I can do is I can take the loop of the parachute cord. I can pull it through there. Pull it down enough that I can... Put it over the end of the knife. And then when I pull up on it, see that'll just hold it right there, okay? And now I'm going to drop this through that cord sleeve in the poncho, and that will pull this very easily right to the other end. It'll be ready to make a gathered in hammock. Okay, so now here we go. I've got the knife hanging here. Pull it up a little like that. Okay. So now I'm just gonna open up the just gonna open up the ham, the cord sleeve. This one looks a little bit different. It's a little actually it's a little bit smaller than the ones these days. We make it just a little bit bigger. So it's a little easier. But like I said, this is the this is the second prototype we ever made. Okay, now you just shake it a little bit, and I like, I hold, I hold a little bit of it kind of up in the air, so it doesn't have any friction, or, so it doesn't hang up anywhere, and then you just kind of shake it, okay, this is, <clears throat> I peel that back well you can see it just came just barely came out of there so I can like I can shake it just a little bit more and it will fall right out of there so there you see so now when I go here I've got this on one end and on the other end I've got two ends right here, okay? So, what I'm going to do is take what I'm going to do is take the knife off of here. Get that out of the way. So all I do is grab this loop right here and pull it. I put the knife back through and then I just pull that loop out of it. Like that. So now I have a loop on one end. And I have two ends coming out the other side of the poncho. What I want to do is we want to gather the ends so it makes a hammock. So I put those loops, or those ends, through this loop, then I just pull on it, okay? I've now gathered the end of this poncho, and once I do the other end like that, that turns it into a hammock. Now, we've got all this cord out here. We tie that around the tree, Tighten it or loosen it a little bit to make it how you want it. Just a little bit of drape, a little bit of a curvature as it's hanging there. You're good to go. That's it. So that's how you do the parachute cord standard option. Okay, now when you're using parachute cord or using the Dyneema with eye options, what I do is I, I like to take a little bit of the strain off of the knot. So when you get your body in there, and all that weight, it doesn't tighten the knot down so it's hard to get undone. So what I do, I just bring it around, and then I double back, okay? Then, I like to drop those ends through the inside again. And then I'll come out here. I just pull those two ends through there once. 
and I just make a loop there, pull them through again. So that just makes a half hitch. And by doubling back like I did right there, like when you lay in this thing as a hammock and all that, it'll still be easy to undo these knots. So let's say my trees are fairly close together, like say they're 10 or 12 feet apart or something like that. I will have a lot of extra parachute cord and I don't want to pull all that through making my knots. So here's what I do. So what I do is I, I pull up that slack, I double back and I go around the tree one time or two times sometimes depending on how much you got to work with. Okay, then I just come back and and I'll just do a couple of hitches here like that and now I'm good. Okay, so really that's all there is to um, setting this thing up with the parachute cord. Now our other two options are designed to make things a little bit easier. So now the Dyneema with eye, I'm not going to show you how to drop it through the, the, the sleeve and the hem of the poncho like I just did with the uh, parachute cord because it's the same. But you don't have to double it and you don't have to fold it in half to make a loop to drop it through. All you do is one end has a loop on it and you just do your knife through there the same way. Drop it through, gather the end, tie your knot. It's all, so other than that, it's, you know, there's no, there's really no difference to what you would do with the Dyneema with eye. The advantage to it is it's got a lot higher breaking strength than the parachute cord. And since it's, and since it's Dyneema, it doesn't really have any stretch to it. Where the parachute cord, which doesn't really matter that much, it's just, if you get a longer distance between trees and you have a lot of parachute cord hanging out there, then when you get in it, it's going to sink farther. So it's just, you just have to adjust for that. But with this, it doesn't, with this stuff here, it doesn't stretch really at all. So you just set it up and get in, you're good. Okay. So that's that one. Okay, for option number three. I'm going to demo that with the, this is the ripstop, um, it's not the HD version, it's just this regular ripstop version of the poncho printed in the ATAX IX pattern. And this one has the uh, quick connect built in. So I'm just going to peel this, just pull this back and show you. So for the quick connect to work, you see there's a snap. There's a snap right here that closes in the end of the hem, the cord sleeve. And the eye of the quick connect is actually held in place by the snap. So all I've got to do is grab the edges of that, hem, that cord sleeve and pull. You heard it unsnap. I just reach in and grab the loop. There it is. It's always held in place right there, so you never have to thread it through. So it makes it easier than the other two methods, the parachute cord or the Dyneema with eye. Okay, now, on the other end, just unsnap it. There we've got both ends, they have an eye on them. And so what I do, I just keep I keep those eyes eyes right there on my finger. Pardon me, it's a little windy today, so it's just kind of blowing around on me a little while I'm trying to show you. Okay. So anyway, so now all I do is pull down like that. The end is gathered. All this has to do here is attach to whatever you're going to use around your tree. And I'll show you what we what we offer and what we supply. You can use 
You can use webbing, you can use whoopee slings, all kind of stuff you can use if you already have something. But uh, we recommend our daisy chain webbing because that works so good with this. It's just awesome. So this is the daisy chain webbing. You can optionally get this stuff in uh, dark olive. This is the standard, the default. Black on one side, blue on the other. Okay. And the default, it's five feet long, which for most everybody, that always works well. Um, so you can see right here that every three inches, there's a double a double bar right there, which that means the colors are switching sides. <laughs> uh, the black goes over to the blue side, see? Then it reverses, and then it goes back, and then it reverses. So it's a woven daisy chain web, which is, you see how thin that is? It's really thin, okay? Where most daisy chain is bulky, very bulky, okay? So... We just open it up like that and you just stick your we just stick the ends through there okay so going around the tree I just reach around come back around here and you can see I just I usually take the last loop and I tuck the end of the webbing through there and then you just kind of cinch it down and that's all there is to it. You're good. This is so darn simple. It's crazy. Okay, so now on the website, when you order your poncho, when you get to the cordage drop-down section, when you click on that and get the drop-down, the very bottom, uh, the very bottom gives you a choice for the quick connect built into the cord sleeve, plus it gives you the uh, daisy chain webbing <clears throat> if you order that option it's a little kit basically <clears throat> and it also includes two alloy aluminum toggles very lightweight and they have a shock cord on one end that you can use which I'll show you to put over just to kind of hold it just so it holds everything in place it's not technically needed but I just put it on there. <laughs> this is just sand right here, so I just I just put the poncho down on the sand. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up the other end. Now I'll come over here and do. Then I'll come over here and do this end, and I'll show it to you close up. So the toggle just holds it right there in place. All right, now man, it's getting windy. Okay, so I've got my other toggle. Okay, now I'm going to just bring this up. I think I need to be about right there. So I've got my two eyes, right? So I put that over a finger here. Then, now you can do it however you want. This way I do it. Then I take the tail of this daisy chain webbing and I put it through both of the eyes. Okay, then I pull it up however, I pull it up however far I think I need to go on here, I think about right there, then I open a loop in the daisy chain, shove the toggle through there, see right there, then I can take this elastic and just put it over the end like that, like I say, you don't even have to do that at all, I just thought people might like that, so I did it. <laughs> all right and that winds a little chilly today all right so one of the things we do right here is the hood you don't want to necessarily leave that open you just pull the hood drawstring run the cord lock down now you just made the hood into about a one gallon or a little more than a one gallon pocket basically okay all right one of the first things i do is I kind of come here to the middle and kind of push down a little, put my weight on it. So I'm just trying to tighten everything up because I like to be about chair height off the ground right here. So 
So I'm a little bit lower than, lower than that right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to this other end just because I want to. I pull the toggle out and then I'm just gonna go up a couple, I'll go up a couple of loops and I shove my toggle back in. And once again, you don't have to, like as long as there's a little bit of tension on here, that toggle's never gonna come out. But I put the last, the, the shock cord on there just because, I don't know, if anything ever happens, at least your toggle will always be right here. Okay, so there we are. Now I'm ready to get in. I'm about, uh, I'm about chair height. I actually could be a little higher than this, but I just leave it. It's fine. I like, I'm a little bit lower than chair height, but that's all right. I won't worry, I won't worry about it too much. All right, now, let me just get in. And there it is right there. That's how easy it is to turn our poncho into a hammock, to make adjustments, all that sort of thing. Easy peasy, as they say. Two thumbs up. So there we are, trying to go into a little detail here on how we do the cordage with the hammock, uh, the ponchos, to turn them into hammocks and what each one is so you can kind of see the difference so now you got an idea about that i'll have some upcoming videos where i'm going to detail a lot more of the things about our gear um you know where i just kind of i just kind of show what's what and how we do it all right so here's the second prototype point that we ever made and then behind me one of our newer ones and uh, they all work the same. You can do the same thing with all of them.